In this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, we're going to look at how you can use the formula effector to control just the first letter of every word. So we'll go ahead and add a formula effector to this scene. And we're going to go ahead and clear out the default formula. Now, if you've watched prior Quick Tips, you might be familiar with the UVW variables that are available here in the formula effector. These UVW coordinates are not related specifically to texturing. What they are is a relation of the clones in a cloner setup. And typically with a grid array, they relate to the dimensions of the grid. Uh, if we put in U here for the formula, what you're going to see is it basically just goes straight across and it's essentially what we'd get with a step effector. But if we go into the mode text and go into the shader indexing option, we can change this from all letter index into word letter, letter index. And now the U coordinates are going to reset with each word. So now we can use this to affect just the first letter really easily. If we go up here to the formula effector and we set our formula to U equals zero, we're going to get just the first letter of each word. Now, if we want to go ahead and control the other letters, what we can do is go ahead and create an additional formula effector. And in this case, we're going to say U greater than zero. And for those, what we're going to do is scale them down. So we'll set the scale to minus one. And we're going to make sure that that formula effector is applied to our uh, mode text. So now if I select both formula effectors and I control their strength at the same time, we can go from seeing each word to seeing just the first letters of the word. Now if I want to compare this with a step effector as well in the words, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a step effector. And here what we're going to do is make this linear. And instead of using scale, we're going to use position and affect it on the Y dimension. And we'll go ahead and align these with the letters on the staff. And so now if we select all three effectors at the same time and adjust the strength, we can easily animate from the mnemonic to the actual letters on the staff. Now, the great thing about this rig is that it's incredibly flexible. It doesn't matter what text you have in your mode text object. So if we were doing the bass clef instead of the treble clef here, we could type good bikes don't fall apart. And it all still works. We can select all three of our effectors and animate from good bikes don't fall apart to GBDFA. So that is how you can use the formula effector to easily adjust the first letter of each word.